Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, change the format of input type and date, which is by default. Uh, so, what will we do in this tutorial? First, we will make a format, uh, a form, uh, which will uh, contain a submit button and an input type, uh, uh, type or of date type. So, what our purpose is? Uh, when we, when I click the submit button, I will uh, get the uh, default uh, that but uh, what if I want to change it and uh, customize it for myself like as uh, Monday June 16 so uh, this is not by default I customized it and this one is by default so first of all we are going to uh, make up uh, what I have done it here I take a little time please uh, click C I have installed XAMPP and uh, in XAMPP click the htdocs and then XAMPP and uh, I in new folder I, this is uh, made by myself I in new is the name of my university Ipra National University I am student right now ok uh, now here is the folder tutorials and here is the date format uh, PHP file so click it here so what we'll do uh, first let's refresh it nothing is there and uh, let's make a form first action is equal to nothing because we are going to make the uh, action functionality of this form in the same file so leave it as empty and the uh, method is equal to post form closed uh, open and uh, close the form tag and then open an input tag and close it and type will be equal to that name it name it as a uh, the test that is the name ok uh, let's see it refresh the page and you can see our uh, input type that is um, here successfully now make another input tag which will be a button type is equal to submit name is equal to you can name it anything you want and close the input tag so you can see su a submit button and an input type uh, type dead ok clicking this uh, nothing is happening so what we'll do uh, I will select here a date and when I click the submit button I will uh, get the date in in this line here and uh, after that I will customize it as I want so adding the functionality open the PHP tags so first we will check if the submit button is clicked or not so for this purpose I will use this method is set uh, dollar post as I use the post method so I will write here the post write here name of the button copy and paste ok uh, echo ok so it will uh, echo ok if the submit button is clicked so let's check it either it is working or not I click the submit button and you can see ok so remove this line and uh, make another if condition that uh, if not empty dollar post so 
copy and paste it here echo okay so if it is not empty then it will echo okay either it will uh, echo nothing so let's check it refresh the page first i uh, i leave it as it is in, as in this means that it is empty right now and i click the submit button then you can see nothing is echoed here so when i select the uh, a date and i click this means that right now it is not empty and now i click the submit button you can see ok is here echoed now so our conditions and our functionality uh, scripts are now uh, fine and we are uh, it's a green signal to go ahead so make a variable uh, create a variable uh, dollar post paste the same name test data and test test date and test date the same name so echo dollar date so when i click the submit button this means that it will echo the uh, what is what is in here so let's check the program refresh the page and select the date 13 date 6 month and uh, 2016 as year so click the submit button and you can see uh, 2016 06 is the month and 13 is the date so yet i want it uh, in this format the default format i don't like the default format and i want to customize it as um, as of my choice so come here to the editor okay make another variable you can name it anything i made the same name uh, i created the same name variable so uh, what we'll do we will convert the this string actually uh, what's in this variable is a string so we will convert this this string into time and then we will make this uh, make the trick so str2 time so what uh, will be the uh, parameter of this method this variable copy and paste it here is the parameter of str2 time method string time method so make another variable you can again you can name it anything but i am using the same name um, this time write the date method and uh, in here it will take two parameters parameter one and parameter two in parameter one you are going to write the format which you wish to see here is the year then month and then date is like this year then month and then date but i would i want to write as day month and this okay for this purpose we are going to uh, make we are going to write this format copy it paste it here and here is the uh, variable which is storing the string to time um, method paste it here ok now dollar there echo I write it below this one over dollar dead sorry uh, no I select uh, dead and click the submit button oh, sorry 
Mickey jualan Here is the year 2016, which I like to see it here. And here is the month, which is here. And here is the day, which I put here. Okay, let's uh, play a little with this one. Uh, leave the Y as it is. Month, make it capital, and then click the refresh button. You can see June. I'll put the keep in mind. Okay. Uh, now click the D, uh, replace D small D with capital D. And you can see the 13. Uh, refresh the page and just watch it. The 13. You can see Monday, June 2016. So this was, this was all about this tutorial and uh, hope you have understand my concept and uh, i wish you leave comments on my video so that i can make it better and uh, more understandable for you guys uh, thank you for now